So in summary, um, the outlook for March, April, May 2017, depressed rainfall is expected over most parts of the country, especially the eastern sector, during the March uh, to May 2017 long rain season. However, rainfall over uh, some few parts of western Kenya is likely to be near normal. Most of the eastern uh, sector of the country is likely to remain generally dry during the month of March, uh, while the seasonal rainfall expected to pick up in April and May in this sector, the two months are expected to receive depressed rainfall. The seasonal um, rainfall onset is expected during the second to third week of March over most parts of western Kenya. Uh, the better part of the eastern sector, especially northeastern Kenya, is likely to experience the onset during the first to second week of April 2017. So indeed, that was a summary in details. I'll give you the details of the focus for March, April, May 2017. Uh, March to May constitutes a major rainfall season in most parts of Kenya, as well as uh, much of the equatorial eastern African region. map that we have shown that indicates the average uh, March to April, May rainfall, a seasonal rainfall that is expected over um, uh, the whole country. Um, the figure shows that the highest rainfall amounts over 300 millimeters are normally recorded over western parts and uh, central Kenya, uh, central highlands, as well as the coastal strip and parts of the uh, northern uh, Kenya, especially March, Sabit and Moyal. The focus for March, uh, April, May uh, 2017 long rains is based on the prevailing and the expected evolution of sea surface temperature anomalies, uh, what we call the SSTS, over the Pacific, uh, Indian and Atlantic Oceans. Those, those are the major basins where uh, the rainfall uh, generating systems uh, lie uh, during uh, both seasons. Um, and the synoptic, mesoscale and local factors that affect the climate of Kenya. These factors were assessed using various tools, including ocean atmosphere models, uh, statistical models, satellite-derived information and expert interpretation. The Indian Ocean Dipole, uh, that is currently neutral, was also considered. This configuration uh, in the Indian Ocean is still not favorable uh, for good rainfall in the country, especially over the eastern sector. The predicted onsets, cessation, and distribution of rainfall were derived from statistical analysis of past years which exhibit similar characteristics to the current year, what we normally call the analog years. So the forecast indicates that much of the country, and especially most of the eastern sector, is likely to experience general depressed rainfall. However, several parts of western Kenya are likely to experience near normal rainfall i.e. average uh, rainfall. The specific outlooks for March to May 2017 long rain season, uh, which are given in figure three, much of the country is expected to receive generally depressed rainfall. I think you can see most of it colored in yellow. Those, those are the areas that we are expecting um, depressed rainfall. It's only the areas shown in Siam that uh, the rainfall is likely to be generally near normal. So the detailed um, forecast is for western counties, uh, Busia, Vihiga, Kakamega, Bungoma, and Mount Elgon, Nyanza counties, Kisumu, Siaya, Migori, Kisi, Nyamira, Homa Bay, uh, some, co some counties in Central and North, uh, North and Rift Valley, i.e. Transoya, Washingishu, Kericho, Baringo, Bomet, Nandi, Edgio, Marakwet, Turkana, West Pokot, are likely to receive near normal rainfall. Counties in the Central and Southern Rift Valley, Samburu, Laikipia, Nakuru, Narok, Kajiado, ETC. Uh, Central counties, Nyandarwa, Nyeri, Kiambu, Moranga, Kirinyaga. Counties in Eastern Nuna region, Embu, Tarakanithi, uh, Meru. Nairobi County, Westland, Zembakasi, Kasarani, Dagoreti. Northeastern region, Mandera, uh, Garissa, Wajia. And counties in coastal region, Mombasa, Kwale, Kilifi, Lamu, Tanariba. Taita Taveta are likely to receive near normal rainfall with a tendency of below normal, uh, i.e. general depressed rainfall. The expected uh, rainfall distribution, this is key, um, for March to May 2017 seasonal rainfall, both in time and space is expected to be generally poor over most parts of the country. This will more so uh, be over the eastern sector and in particular the arid and semi-arid lands. 
time depressed rainfall is expected over most parts of the country during the month of March. Indeed, sunny and dry weather conditions will be dominant uh, over the north eastern and coastal regions during the month of March. A pickup in rainfall is, however, likely to occur over western Kenya uh, during the month of March. In April, near normal rainfall is expected um, over the western region. The rest of the country, especially the northwestern, northeastern, and southeastern counties, are expected to receive depressed rainfall that will be poorly distributed in time and space. Most parts of the country, including the coastal strip, are likely to experience a depressed rainfall in May. There's a table that uh, is showing us uh, the expected onset sun cessation, um, and it indicates that uh, counties in the Lake Basin and the highlands west of the Rift Valley are likely to get their onsets in the second third week of March 2017, and the rainfall will continue into June uh, 2017. In southern parts of the Rift Valley, the narrow Kajiado, uh, central highlands, including Nairobi area, we are expecting an onset in the third to fourth week of March 2017, and a cessation in the rainfall in the third to fourth week of May 2017. Central Rift Valley, that's Nakuru, we expect an onset in the third to fourth week of March 2017, and rainfall will con continue into June 2017. The southeastern counties, we expect an onset in the third to fourth week of March 2017 and a cessation in the second to third week of May 2017. The southern coastal strip, uh, we are expecting an onset in the fourth week of March to first week of April 2017 and the, the rainfall will continue into June 2017. The northern coastal uh, strip, the onset is expected in the first to second week of April 2017 and a cessation, and the rainfall will continue into June. The northwestern counties, uh, we expect an onset in the second third week of March 2017, and a cessation in the second third week of May uh, 2017. The northern and northeastern counties, Wajia, Garissa, Mandera, and Marsabit, we expect an onset in the first to second week of April 2017, uh, general dry during the month of March and uh, a cessation in the second to third week of May 2017. So that's, that's basically the forecast, uh, the distribution in time, and uh, what we anticipate as the onset and uh, cessation dates. I can quickly take you through some of the potential impacts that we have generated. But like I've said, uh, for details, if you want uh, details in agriculture, it's always good to consult with the relevant institutions. To really find out what kind, kind of contingency measures they are putting in place based on, on the forecast. So on agriculture, food security and livestock, um, in the agricultural counties of Western Kenya, and Nyanza where near normal rainfall performance expected, and also the Central Rift Valley and Central Highlands where near normal to below normal rainfall is expected, the farming communities should take advantage of the expected rains and maximize uh, crop yield through appropriate land use management. Farmers are advised to liaise with the State Department of Agriculture for advice on the appropriate seeds to be used. The expected poor temporal distribution of the seasonal rainfall is, however, likely to negatively impact uh, most agricultural areas. In other uh, agricultural counties, like the southeastern Kenya, where the rainfall is expected to be highly depressed, farmers are also advised to liaise with the State Department of Agriculture to get advice on appropriate crops. Uh, that are drought resistant in order to make the best use of the anticipated poorly distributed uh, rain and depressed rainfall by planting the appropriate crops. Food security is expected to deteriorate over most parts of the country and more so in the northern areas of the country. The poor rain performance of the expected, uh, the poor rainfall performance expected over the arid and semi arid lands will continue impact negatively on the livestock sector. In disaster management, in the arid and semi-arid lands, uh, problems related to water scarcity and lack of pasture for livestock is expected to continue due to the expected highly depressed trend for during the 2017. Human wildlife and inter-community conflicts over the limited resources are likely to be on the increase in these areas. The laid down contingency plans and strategies should therefore be sustained and enhanced to avert uh, such incidences. 
I think we heard from uh, NDMA that there are already contingency measures in place. Uh, what we are seeing that because of uh, the anticipated uh, poor rainfall performance during March April May, uh, this should be uh, enhanced even further. Lighting strikes may still occur in Western Kenya, especially with, uh, within Kisi and Kakamega counties. Isolated cases of flooding in places like Dalangi and Kano areas, as well as landslides, mudslides, in susceptible areas in the Western Central Rift Valley are also likely to occur. The National Disaster Operations Center is therefore advised to be on standby in order to ensure mitigation uh, of any negative impacts that may arise. Uh, maybe you can mention here is that uh, in KMD you also generate um, severe weather uh, for specific areas and will normally give information uh, three, four days in advance that can be used to make sure that you minimize the impacts that are associated with the fairly heavy rainfall events that lead to landslides in some of these areas. The energy sector, the Taku and Asombi Miru catchment areas are expected to experience near normal rainfall during the coming season, March to May. It's therefore expected that the level of water in the hydroelectric power generating dams will gradually improve. A slight improvement in the water level is also expected in the Seven Fox hydroelectric power generating dams due to the forecasted average uh, to be long, uh, average rainfall in the Tana river catchment areas. On transport and public safety, uh, flash floods uh, may still occur in western Kenya and some parts of central Rift Valley and uh, central highlands despite the expected average to below average rainfall in some of these areas. Uh, this may lead to transport problems, especially in areas where the roads become impassable when it, when it rains. Slippery roads and poor visibility during rainstorms may also pose dangers to motorists and pedestrians, especially along the Gikui Kinongi uh, stretch. All should therefore take utmost care uh, during the rainy period to minimize any accidents that would result from uh, such weather conditions. On water resource management, um, water resources for drinking, sanitation, and industrial use are expected to deteriorate uh, over most parts of the country due to the expected depressed rainfall. This will be more so in northeastern, northwestern, and southeastern Kenya. The currently available water should therefore be well managed to cater for the animal and human population needs. Uh, rainwater harvesting should also be encouraged to boost water availability uh, in homes. On the health sector, diseases like cholera may emerge in areas expected to receive depressed rainfall. The current problems of uh, malnutrition may be on uh, the increase in some areas. Health authorities should therefore equip hospitals with necessary drugs to be able to deal with such conditions as they arise. Conditions that favor malaria outbreak in the highlands of Western Kenya may occur during the season, and health authorities will work with the department to assess the risks on a monthly basis. On environment in areas expected to have good terrain for performance, the Ministry of Environment and Natural Resources should encourage residents to put in place soil conservation measures to minimize uh, environmental degradation caused by uh, soil erosion. Uh, people also should be encouraged to plant more indigenous trees in order to increase uh, forest cover. Um, I think I want to terminate here, but just point out that uh, normally it's good to utilize this information together with the updates that we generate. Uh, the updates are normally on 24 hour basis, five days, seven days, and monthly, and occasionally when there are certain uh, peculiar events, we always generate advisories that we share with the, with the people.